Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit And you weren't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you Hey guys, it's BTV Today we're back with another video We're doing a try something new every day for a week I want to do up to like seven things because obviously that's a week but I want this to be real I want this to be things I actually didn't do before so yeah I know y'all wondering what is you doing looking like that chilling in the bed we're gonna listen I'm about to clean my room one but instead of watching like a show or a show I watched a million times or just listen to the same songs a million times I want to listen to a podcast. So I have my computer. My first thought, to be honest, was to listen to like a, I don't know, like a self-help type of podcast or like a motivational type podcast. But oh my gosh, nowadays mad people have podcasts. Like a lot of YouTubers or TikTokers I watch have podcasts and they be mad funny. Like, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do a funny podcast. I think that's what I need right now. The first one that comes to mind is Fanita. She's a TikToker. Her podcast is called Pass Your Bedtime. All right, let's see who she has up here. Bretman Rock. Oh, Terry Joe. Okay, that sold me. <laughs> We're watching this one. Okay, it's an hour, three minutes. That'll be a good time because I do want to finish cleaning my room in like an hour. Um, That's how I don't procrastinate on not procrastinate but like you know when you clean your room you find something like from three years ago now you stuck reading an old journal for like 30 minutes yeah I don't want to do that so when I put a time limit on myself it helps me you know get my shit together so that's what we're doing so we have an hour and three minutes to clean up this room I'll show y'all what it's giving yikes and then I'll show y'all that after because I definitely want to change my sheets all right all right I'm talking too much okay let's get into it Okay, we about to get to it. <laughs> so we're in the middle of doing my vanity but i just finished the podcast which honestly it was very entertaining like i know this is an entertaining podcast but it, it kept me focused because it's like i didn't really have to like stop and watch something you know it's just you know and then it sounds like it kind of feels like you're on facetime with these people like it just felt like we was all having a little girl chat so it was cool I like that y'all was on to something when y'all started um doing the podcast and shit so i'm definitely gonna do that more when i know i have an important task to do and i know cleaning my room probably doesn't sound that important but i was in a slump and when i clean my room that's how you know i'm coming out of it period this was a very important task and i'm not done cleaning my room for real i need to take my dirty clothes out that's in that corner and finish this is translucent powder i need to wipe off the vanity wipe off my desk and actually then i will be done so i think i made pretty good time i did stop and read a few journals and shit like i knew i would but i got it done and the bed is made i didn't put my new sheets on the bed but i'll probably do that tomorrow when i have time to wash them because i don't want to just take it out the package let me show y'all see it's still in the package i don't want to just take out the package and put it on the bed i don't know how i feel about that more so because i don't want the dye like from the fabric to like get on my skin this is black it's just a black comforter with a sham i believe and i'll see y'all on the next time i try something new It's a new day. It's actually like I just woke up and I thought this would be perfect to try another thing that I want to try, which is yoga. 
Like I exercise, I meditate, I feel like yoga is like meeting the middle. I don't like know anything about yoga, to be honest. As yoga is a group of physical, mental, and spiritual practices or disciplines which originated in ancient India and aim to control and still the mind. I just want to find like a nice little video on YouTube for real and maybe I'll like find some yoga positions and see if I can do them because yeah like we ready to get into it. This one has 4.2 million views. It says 10 minute yoga for beginners. I'll um link this video down below of course because I'm using it and I got this mat from five below I used to work there so like years ago though so yeah I, I got me some stuff I know what they got there they have exercise equipment yoga equipment all types of shit so so before you go to TJ Maxx before you go on Amazon go to five below all right one welcome to yoga with Adrian I'm Adrian and Benji we're gonna get started y'all if you feel comfortable to close your eyes, keep an awareness of your breath. Hands come together next, palms at the chest, or the really bringing awareness to lengthen my low back. We're lifting up from the pelvic floor. Inhale, big stretch. Inhale, deep lean. Whew. Okay, so. Yoga is like, to my understanding, it's like dynamic stretching. So you're moving as you stretch. And honestly, it kind of makes it hard. <laughs> it definitely makes it hard. Um, I'm not going to lie. Maybe this is too, like, beginner friendly for me. But, like, I, I was bored. It, it didn't do it for me. It didn't stick out to me. Let's get into some positions that... Like, I don't know. Let's see what we can get into on Pinterest. <laughs> this one has tons and tons of poses. So the first one, we have child's pose. I think that's what I just did. And in the video, she her legs weren't straight. Her feet were like pointed together at an angle. Her knees were pointed out. And then you sit in it and stretch. Okay, cat is the other way uh -huh. downward facing dog okay this one's like one of the most popular ones oh god the feet flat to the floor even when she bends down the feet are still flat so oh wow <laughs> oh my god that that um calf stretch oh my god all right all right all right Ooh, i've never stretched this part of my body okay that's that more dog y'all let's try one more let's try triangle pose oh because i'm actually getting fucking hot i have this big window in front of me as you can see and i'm, I'm getting a bit hot the feet are like sideways and the hand is in front and you look up purr. <laughs> i mean i just want to try it give it a try because i do like what it stands for not stands for but like you know what yoga is all about it's like spiritual and mental and not just the physical aspect and it definitely helps you stay intentional during your your yoga and stay mindful because when you meditate you're supposed to be focusing on your breath, you know, like you're supposed to be always conscious of your breath. It's like your mind slipping away from, from what you're supposed to be doing. Just come back and center yourself, focus on your breath. So that's basically what you're doing with yoga, except um, you're moving and you're stretching as well. <laughs> that downward dog is no fucking joke. Oh my God. If I had to rate yoga, I would rate it for productivity. I would give it 10 out of 10, but like, did I enjoy it? The six out of 10 for me, like, I definitely do think I would try it again. Um, and just something more advanced, maybe if I get into it more, I don't know y'all, but I'm glad I tried. It was worth a try. Let me know what, what do y'all know about yoga? Hey y'all, so it's a new day. I'm with my man, y'all see his arm. 
Um, we about to go pick up his niece. I finally got the chance to, to try a new restaurant. We're going to D&G Caribbean Bar and Grill. I don't know if it's a bar. It might just be a grill. But yeah, I will show y'all what we're getting. They have obviously Caribbean food. I'm not, I haven't tried a lot of Caribbean food. I tried Jamaican food once. I've been eating African food a little bit. But like, I don't know, let's get into it. Salad? Is that a Caesar salad? Oh, no salad? <laughs> I'll try a curry goat with um, mac and cheese and um, white rice. And then can I do the oxtail dinner with white rice and mac and cheese? Okay, uh, it was $50 is the total. Don't mind my nails. I know they're fucked up. Okay, y'all, I'm finally about to try it. We got our food. This is what he got. This is some curry goat. It smells literally amazing, y'all. That smells great. Okay, y'all, so he got the curry goat with rice and mac and cheese. I got the oxtail. How is it? I wanna know how it is. Well, can I try it? And then you can try my oxtail. I don't know what oxtail tastes like. Well, you don't know if this one is like super good. It's good. You just don't want me to try it. Okay. No, you can try it. You can try The mac and cheese, y'all. It looks baked. Mmm. No, I like this. I really do. It's like a good cheese combo. Mmm, this mac and cheese is good. Like, it's better than what I be making. And now I want that recipe. Okay, I'm gonna try plantain. I definitely had plantains before, but we're gonna see if this one's good. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Actually, I don't think so. I think they're too burnt for me. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of oxtail with some mice. Mmm. Mm. It came right off the bone, y'all. Let me get some rice. Yeah. This is amazing. It was like, this was, my meal was like $22. His was 19 I believe. So, but we got a lot of food, as y'all can see. Well, as y'all saw, it's a lot of food. So, I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10. The service was good. It's clean in here. Um, food is good. I feel like it's a lot of food for the price. So I'm gonna do 10 out of 10 or five stars. What are you gonna rate it? 4.7 stars. <laughs> five stars. We both rated it five stars. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna finish eating this and spend some time with my man and then I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey y'all, so y'all see what I got. You feel me? I'm ready to have this good ass smoke and then I'm going to cook my new recipe. That's what we're doing. We're trying a new recipe um it's gonna be pretty easy but y'all get the details when i go in there I, I love cooking so like it's gonna be fun because it's not a real recipe i'm basically just like doing whatever i want <laughs> so yeah hey y'all we back on our bonnet shit so don't talk shit because y'all see what i just did i'm big chilling anyways i found this specialty selected shrimp and crab ravioli from aldi y'all aldi be having all types of extravagant shit and this is my first time actually getting something. So we're gonna test if all these food is good. I read the instructions. All you have to do is boil it. So that's cool, but it doesn't come with a sauce. So we get to make our own sauce. Mm -hmm. I decided to do a white sauce. I don't really, I'm not like a super big fan of Alfredo anymore, but we are gonna make like a Parmesan cheese sauce, which is basically Alfredo, but without the nutmeg, but Mind your business. Yes, we have some skim milk and some heavy cream. I'm only using the milk because I don't want to use all this heavy cream. So I'm just going to do like half and half. But you can do without the milk. We're using Italian style cheese, which is mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, agiago. Yes. We have Italian seasoning, lemon pepper, regular pepper, salt, paprika, Old Bay seasoning, creole seasoning. I don't know if I'm going to add any more, but I know I'm using these for sure. So let's get started. I'm pressed. I'm about to boil some water. I like to put hot water in there because it boils faster and I'm just impatient. This is a new stove, y'all. So I'm still like learning how to work it. And it, it heats up fast. 
And then this we're gonna use for, of course, the sauce. I'm gonna start off by putting some sunflower oil in there. I got this from Aldi too. It's like healthy, so I got it. And it doesn't really disrupt the taste. I, I only used it once, so I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm literally putting a little amount in there. Do y'all see? Just enough to cover the whole bottom. I don't like an oily consistency for real. And I don't want that in my in my sauce. So also I'm gonna salt the water lightly because y'all I recently just made a meal prep video where I made lasagna and I fucking salted the water and I put two cubes of chicken bouillon in there. The noodles were salty as shit, like just between me and you. I'm not gonna say that in the video, but just between me and you, the noodles were salty as shit. So we're gonna lightly salt it, that's it. Using this coarse kosher salt, just cause I have it. It's just like a thicker salt, is what it looks like to me. Bro, my dog, he chowing down, like, I don't even know if y'all can hear him, but I don't even like that in my ear right now. I'm fucked up if I take his bowl away. He's so big fat. Now he eating stuff off the floor. Oh my God. Okay. I didn't say this in ingredients, but I'm using minced garlic. That's why I had to put oil because I don't want to burn my garlic, but I do want some. I'm going to use a lot. I like a garlicky taste. And this garlic is in water. They do sell minced garlic in olive oil. And I usually get that one because then you don't have to put oil in your pan. But it, it's not that big of a deal. Let me spread this garlic around. Again, I really don't want that to burn. And we're using heavy cream and milk. We definitely don't want that to burn or you'll have a burnt taste all throughout your sauce. That's really disgusting. So I don't know if this is enough water, but I guess I just won't make all the pasta if it's not enough. Okay, I smell it really strong. I'm gonna turn it literally as low as I can because I'm scared. I don't know this stove yet. Like, we don't know her. I'm gonna do the heavy cream first. Okay, yes, that's a good sign that it didn't sizzle when it hit the pan. Okay, my water's boiling. This is what it looks like. And yes, my hands are clean. Okay, it smells like crab. Mix them up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit because it does not feel hot. And like I said, it didn't like sting the pan when I put it in there. So I think it's pretty good. Not too much, because milk be uh, curdling, I think. Well, I need a lot, because I made a lot of noodles. Fine. Milk be curdling and getting, like, foamy and shit. That's nasty as fuck. I learned that when I was making a queso. I was trying to make the queso from Chipotle, and, oh, the milk got so fucking nasty. Okay, y'all, my noodles is, like, really trying to jump out the pot, so I think I might drain them. They're just getting bigger and bigger, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if they're done, though. I haven't even been paying attention to the time, y'all. I've been in my own world. Yeah, I'm gonna drain it because like they're literally trying to jump off the pot. I'm gonna set that back there. I'm gonna start seasoning this and then I turn the heat up a little bit because I wanna start putting the cheese in. Because after the cheese is in, we're done. Pepper. Okay, not too much because we're also gonna use lemon pepper. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Ooh, I completely forgot out onion powder. What is going on with me? We did put garlic, but I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Some Old Bay, cause it, it is shrimp and crab. So I feel like this will complement it really well. This has salt in it though, so not too much. Using paprika, obviously for color. Some Creole seasoning. It was either this or Cajun seasoning, but I have more of this. So we're using Creole instead of Cajun. Parsley, mix it up. Might need some more. I just never want to over season, so I do it in parts. Before I put more seasoning in, I'm gonna add some cheese. I get the cheese already shredded. It is what it is. The cheese smells so good. Like, I think it's gonna complement this pasta perfectly. Okay, it's still way too watery for me, like, ill. So, we're gonna add more cheese. Maybe I can put some cornstarch. I know that'd be thick yeah, enough. Yeah, I think this is perfect. It's, like, thick. Can I show it to y'all better? It's, like, thicker, but not too thick. And I don't want it too thick, so we're gonna take it off the heat right now. Oh, I made a lot of sauce. 
I think the cornstarch really did the trick, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit while I clean up a little bit, and then we'll try it. Not really, but I think it's gonna taste really good. Okay, y'all, here it is. We're about to try it. I thought the noodles could have been boiled longer and I could have seasoned the sauce more, but I mean, you live and you learn. I literally just over seasoned something I cooked, so I'm not even mad at myself for being cautious. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna pack some up for my man to try, and that's it. Hey y'all, it's a new day. It's currently 8.13 a.m. A bitch is up early. This is gonna be the last day of the video because I've been filming this video for months. <laughs> it's supposed to be a week, it's been months like literally and it's because i just couldn't find the time to like get everything done and then i had to film other videos i'm being nosy about the people on the street sorry y'all but i had to film other videos she just got busy y'all a bitch is busy busy and bugged so i haven't ate today and i want chipotle i want chipotle so bad they don't open until 10 i'm getting chipotle 10 a.m in the morning yes i want that so bad like oh my god i wish they were open market did i tell y'all what we were fucking doing i'm drunk like am i drunk so we're doing a far we're going to a farmer's market today because i've never been i've really never been and i feel like that's why i'm wearing this like wrap because it's like i don't know i feel like i'm in my boho vibe like do hippies <laughs> and like hippies and you know boho girls go to the farmer's market i even have my little tote bag like yes i'm i'm in my boho era right now and i didn't feel like doing my wig anyways i never been to a farmer's market and I want to see if I'm going to get like fresh fruit, fresh flowers, um, bread. I don't know. I was looking at the reviews and it seems like that's like what they sell at farmer's markets. But anyway, we're going to stop at Dunkin' first because I need something to fucking eat. And honestly, I didn't used to like Dunkin's drinks, but like I kind of had to go to Dunkin'. So the matcha is banging. <laughs> I like the matcha now. Hey, good morning. Hello. Can I get Hi. an ice matcha latte, small, and a ham and Swiss croissant stuffer? Small ice matcha latte, ham, Swiss croissant stuffer, anything else? That's all, thank you. After I leave the line, I need to have the address ready, so let me have it ready. I need to get my life together. Oh my gosh, I need to get my playlist going, y'all. I need to get my playlist going. <laughs> Five minutes away. I've been listening to my Tayana Taylor because that's my bitch. Tayana Taylor, Janae Aiko, like they come through when I need them for real. They come through with the vibes and the affirmations, all that. Very like I, okay. Farmers markets are hot shit apparently. Break off with you, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. At this time, doing what I want. Hope you doing what you want. Hey 
Hey y'all. I'm back in the car. I'm back in my car, y'all. And I did it. I was in there when I first I was so okay. I seen all these cars. I'm like praying to God. There's other stores around here. So I'm praying to God, like, hopefully all these people are in the other stores. No, they're not. They're they're literally all in that farmers market. That's because that farmers market has everything. Like, oh my god. Let me show what I got. I bought this bag because I thought I was gonna get a watermelon, but when I went and looked at the price, the watermelon was $14. Is that like regular price for a watermelon? Either way, I didn't really want to pay that. But I got this apple bread, this lighting. I got this apple bread. I was gonna get banana bread, but then I was like, I don't think I've ever tried apple bread and this has like icing on it. So I thought it was cute. I only got that half because like, I don't know if it's good. Cute little bag. <laughs> And y'all, let me tell y'all, everybody in there, <laughs> it's not funny, it's cute. Everybody in there has the bowl cut. Like, you can literally tell bowl on your head cut across because, like, it's not even even, to be honest. Let me tell you, they have those little kids in there working, 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 stomping them grapes. Like, <laughs> last thing I got were these chocolate covered strawberries. This was only $14. Like, if you're trying to get chocolate covered strawberries from anywhere else, they're literally gonna run you $50, $49.99, literally. Only $14 for all these strawberries? Like, period. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, because it really helps. If you like me, subscribe, and I'll see you all in a new video. Bye, love you.